Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to do the second midterm review, and we're going to do the second exercise in that review, which is obviously this one. Um, I'm not going to do the other exercises because they're all to predict the output of the of the code, and the only one that requires you to program is the second exercise. So that's the only one I'm probably going to put a video about. So what this what this exercise wants us to do is that we create a list and from that list we we create a histogram where however many times a number appears that's the value that is given in that position. So here one occurs um four times and so at the one position there'll be four and then two occurs once and then zero for three, one for four, five, six, seven have none, and then eight has two. Uh, this list is from 1 to 10 instead of 0 to 10 like most programs want you to do it and so this is essentially what they want you to do so whatever values are in this list we want that uh, to correspond to the number of time it appears in the histogram so let's get started alright so we're going to copy this list I feel I'm too lazy to to actually create my own so We'll have my list equals this list. I'm going to create a separate list called histogram, which would be an empty list. And then to go through each of these, we're going to have an index. So index equals 1, because the initial value will be 1 instead of 0. And then we'll have our while loop, which will be while true. We'll do while true, we'll then have a find value of zero. So whenever we find the number, we want to find out how many times that number occurs and then add it to the find. So every time a number occurs, the find goes up by one. And then it'll reset itself at the beginning of the while loop again to zero for the next number and so on and so on. So then we have our for loop. So for lem elements or for values and elements. Got it right the first time. So for elements in my list, I have like several screens going here, so I'm looking at a bunch of them to make sure they're all showing the same thing. So for elements in my list, uh, and then for values in that list, because the elements would be the list themselves. And then we want those numbers in each list, so that's why we put values in elements because it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. So then we're gonna do if those values equal the index, which is this number right here, we then want to increment the value of find by one. All right. And then after we do that, we're gonna increment, or not increment, but we're gonna append the histogram list with the value of find and then we're going to increment index by one to go to the next value which would be two three four five and six and so find will go back to zero here and then it'll go by one each time uh... the value which the next one would be two whenever the value equals the index which would be two and then find goes up by one and then goes into the list and then we'll do an if statement to break the loop so if index is greater than 10 because it's only 10 uh, this value is only from 1 to 10 so if the index is greater than 10 we'll break and then we'll go to our final thing here which we need to print my list and then we'll print we'll print the histogram And so this should work. Let's uh, let's test this. Yep. Okay. So this this looks like this one. So four occurrences of one, one occurrence of two, no occurrences of three, and so on and so on and so on. Uh, let me see. Let's change up the list a little bit. What happens if we put like uh, we do this backwards? So I do this.
So each value except for uh, 10 should be 1. And yep, yeah, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And then 0 for 10. If we change this, then it'll be. Yeah, all of these ones. So this is uh, one of the ways you can program that exercise. It's, uh, it's pretty simple. Do um, you have your my list here, which is given to you, or you can create it. It's a list within a list, and then you have an empty list for your histogram. Then you have your index, so that way each value uh, we can go through and match it with the value inside the list. And then we have our while loop where we have our find value, which will append to the histogram list. And we do our for loops to get inside our numbers here. And then if those, if the value, if the values here equal this index, then find goes up by one. And then we will put that in histogram list. We increment index. We break from that loop when index uh, is greater than 10, so when it's 11 or something like that. And then we'll print our results here. So this is, this is really simple. Um, I hope this helps and uh, I'll see if I can find ways to make these make these exercises more interactive instead of just copy and pasting because I don't want to do a video where I just copy and paste the code. But anyways, this is how you can do how you can do the second exercise on the midterm review. Alright.